Hello, welcome all. Welcome to another important video. I hope you all are doing great. So in this video, we will run our first ever Docker container. We will use Docker run command and we will get introduced to basic concepts of Docker. All right. So let's get started. So first of all, if you don't know what is Docker Playground, I will urge you to watch our previous video where we got introduced to Docker Playground. So in this video, we will simply start our new session. So here we go. All right, so now our session is started. You can see the timing here. And first thing we need to do here is we need to launch new instance. So simply click on this launch new instance button. All right, so now we have our instance ready. So if you remember, we already have Docker installed in it. So we don't need to do any extra setup. We can simply start running our Docker commands. All right, so as I already mentioned, we are gonna use Docker run command to run our basic docker container so let's quickly use that command so this is basic docker run command so if i simply ask for help so these are all parameters i can pass to this command so for now we are not going to pass any parameter we'll simply use basic command so what i'm going to do here is i will use docker run and then i will use name of image so here i'm going to use hello world image so in case if you're wondering from where this image will get download so this is a docker hub so if you don't know docker hub i will urge you to watch our previous video where we got introduced to docker hub just to quickly explain you what is it so it is online library for all docker images so this is officially supported by docker so by default if you don't provide any server name it will download all the images from this docker hub okay and if that image is not available here it will simply throw error okay so you can read all this information so it is saying it is the largest library and community for the container images so that's what it is so let me click on explore here and this is important thing we need to understand so if i click on images so these are all possible images you can see there are more more than 10,000 images available. So we can use all these images in our project. Okay. So if I search for hello world, so we will get this image here. So if you see this, this is Docker official image. All right. And this is what we are going to use. Okay. And let's see what is it. So it is a basic image, which simply put some console messages as soon as it, it gets run. So let's quickly run this command. All right. And let me make this screen a little bit bigger. All right. So let's see what happened. So as soon as I run this command, first of all, Docker will search this image locally. So in our case, since we launch our instance right now, we do not have any image. So that's why locally this image is not available. So in the next step, what Docker did is it started pulling this image from Docker Hub. And as we saw, Docker will pull this image from Docker official images. OK, so this image got downloaded. So you can see these logs here. And then as soon as it got downloaded, next thing happened is our Docker run command created container of that downloaded image. So this is what we got from that container. OK, so this message we got from from the container code. Okay, and this is how simple it is. So we can simply fetch any image and we can run it. So this is how simply Docker works. Okay, but my question here is, what if I run this command, will it still download or will it run locally available image? Okay, so let's try it out. Let me run it again. So now this time what happened? So let's say if we compare this two logs in our previous run it downloaded that image but in this case if you observe since the image is locally available because we have already run this command and that image already got downloaded so at this time docker will not download it again unless and until you specify any any specific version of this image so since we have latest image downloaded this docker will not pull any new image it will simply create new instance or new container of that image. Okay, so this is what we got here. So we got same message from the container saying hello world. 
and this is how docker works okay so let's try to break down the things and let's try to understand what this run command does first thing run command will do is it will check for this specific image locally if that image locally available then it will simply create new container of that image but if this run command did not found this locally then it will try to download that image from docker hub okay i hope you have enjoyed this video in the next video we will see more about docker run command and we will get introduced to more docker concepts but for now i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video